Hey there and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at the data we've exported from Zoom Info for the Vietnam market. As you can see from the bottom here of this spreadsheet, we've got manufacturing of auto parts, manufacturing of minerals and mining, manufacturing of shipping, manufacturing of marine, manufacturing airlines, manufacturing aerospace, and then what we've done is combined all of these into this list marked in yellow. The only difference with this page is I selected all the data and went to insert table to convert this to a table range so that we could do a bit more work with it. If I was to show you the summaries now that I've captured this data, you can see here that in Ho Chi Minh, which is actually the only city we've got people in, we have 218 records, six of those are aerospace, 36 of those are airlines, 26 are boats and submarines, 5 are manufacturers of auto parts, 42 are minerals and mining, 103 are shipping and logistics, and that's it. The secret then, if I do another summary here, you can see the number of private versus public companies, so these are possibly faster to approach. And with any of these pivot tables, if you'd like to know specifically who are the 5 private manufacturer of auto parts from our list of data all I have to do is double click right here and it will create a new sheet for me which you can see down here with just those five extremely powerful stuff I don't need that ongoing because obviously my data is in here this is just a snapshot of a certain s filter of the data moving down again we categorized here by aerospace manufacturing and this the idea of this split is the idea that under airlines you've got people doing business services this may well be pilot training or the manufacture and sale of promotional items or uh, food on the aircraft food for customers so it may be totally wrong looking at this one these are probably the 33 that we'll be targeting and yet let's take a quick look yeah Viet Sky support is probably an MRO but it may also be like a food, you know, a food truck company, who knows? So if I pull this up. Who we are, we're a dedicated aviation supplier, independently of air and infinite, infinite, right, where's your services? Ground handling, landing over flight permits, fuel arrangement, VIP services. It looks like it's not what we do. They may know someone who does though, don't get me wrong, but if they're just moving luggage about, let's have a look at airports in Vietnam, water service, laboratory service, yeah, so these guys are not going to need NDT. That said, if we could get in there, they may know someone who does. But here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump straight into here now, now that I've done my initial test of, of that client, right, I can filter here if I wish, so these are all in alphabetical order and Viet Sky support will be right there or I can just search by name, because now this is in a table, I can sort these as much as I wish. And they're gonna be right down the bottom here, Viet Sky Support. And what I've done is I've, I've fr frozen these panes so I can do a nice swipe across. And I'm gonna just go ahead and add a new column to this whole thing and just put score or priority. I'll put score for now. This is a score out of 10. Now, Viet Jet Support, I believe is Viet Sky support, sorry, I believe it's in the industry. So I believe there is some relevance there, but it's not NDT and it's not what we do. So I'll give them a six. There's no business there, but there may be something else as we chip away at it. Let's look for another one. Vietnam tanker joint stock. Let's take a look here, there's their link. And remember, we're just doing the largest companies in Vietnam by revenue. So to have a trading oil stock company or, or on Viet tankers in the logistics and transportation category is totally expected. It's just not for us. So you can see they're operating boats, they're operating pipelines, they're operating petrol stations. I think this is absolutely a target client. And if they're not, they will absolutely be outsourcing their services. So let's take a little look here. We can see, oh, there, look at that. There's even a link to Na Dao Thu at the bottom where they have a dedicated page to NDT on their website. I don't know about you, but that strikes me as incredible. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put their priority as a 10 because I've just confirmed that not only are they in the target industry and have a number of sectors, both energy and transportation that are interesting to us, they're also, they have a dedicated NDT page on their website, which is wonderful, despite the fact that I can't actually understand that. <clears throat> So there we go, I'm going to grab this column now, conditional formatting and my higher ones which are more relevant to me are going to be green and the ones that are less relevant are going to be red so I click that one there and now we can see what that looks like. Let's try and completely disqualify one here, I'm guessing Viet Farm is not relevant to us despite being a major player in the Vietnamese industry. Let's have a look at Viet Farm, hmm, Jesus, what a terrible website. So there it is, Vimedi something. So we can see, yeah, I, I, would, I would argue that this is not a match for us. They happen to be in the manufacturing, maybe a special med industry, I don't know how we ended up with them. Maybe they're a government company, God knows. But my initial feeling is they're not relevant. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the end here and change their score. There we go, and we can see these colours are now updated because 6 is now in the middle of the range 169 rather than the bottom of the range 69. There you go, I would say Vietstar Airlines are absolutely a target contact for us. So let's take a look and see what their website looks like. Is it another fail? No, wonderful, it did work. And I know enough from that alone <coughs> that they are an absolute target for me. So I jump across here, Vietstar Airlines. And there you have it. The idea is when you're done with this list and when each of the distributors in each of the countries for each of the industries is done with this list like this, we then know which ones you're interested in and which ones we can instantly disqualify. Knowing that Viet Star Airlines is a 10, the next stage for me is to then pull up Zoom info, this will be once you've given me this information back and let us know what you think. I've, I've just, you've just saw how quickly I got through four of those, right? So here we go, Vietstar, it's Vietstar Airlines rather than Vietstar Express, there it is, boop, that one there. We jump down here to contacts, all right, and let's blow this up, Vietstar Airlines, lovely, and normally we search by most likely to respond by email. The deputy managing director, there's his business email. So what I do as part of our internal setup would be to jump back into here, go into contacts, create a contact, and this person's email is the one I just copied there from Zoom Info. Bui and Viet, there we go. Bui and Viet, there we go, that goes there. Bui and guessing that's a family name I could be wrong I hope I'm not wrong uh, this is currently assigned to Thomas because that's his area the job title is deputy managing director website URL we can even just take straight from there sometimes people's individual email addresses are different to their email what am I doing there And I'll also check because it looks like Vietnam's not too hot on their secure servers. Let's make sure that works. Yes, you know, I can't do that. That's not a secure server despite being a public airline. Oh my god, terrible. So we'll just delete that. That's fine. Aviation is the airline. And why are we contacting them? Because they're a legitimate lead. Now that that's created, I'm hoping it will take me specifically to that record, which is where we are. Vietstar Airlines has been created as, a, as an empty record for us, so we need to load up a bit more information in there. You can see, I, I, the more of these I load in, the better. All of this stuff here has come from probably LinkedIn or the internet, based on just the web address that I put in there, okay? So to continue, Vietstar, there's their logo, copy image, good. So with that saved, I jump back in here and I click on this one, upload an image, and I'll grab my recent document right there. So that's done. 
couple of nice little updates there. Um, then I go back into this guy. He'll end up adopting that star if we don't put his photo in there. And then what I like to do is go into view all properties and just check things like this. All right, the time zone. We can pop that in there because we know that. Um, we know their lead status. They're new. No, oh, not open. They're new. That's it. Any other status we could have? There we go. Active because we're just getting underway. And what else? I'm going to assume this is a dude. So I'm going to put that and that in there. I hope I'm not wrong. Anyone that actually knows what a Vietnamese name looks like might be able to correct me. And there's just a couple of updates we just chip away at there, okay? So, this is done. The next thing to do is to build a deal. So right here on the right, we add a deal because this is a top 10, number one target client. This is gonna go on the partner pipeline. We're just prospecting at this stage. We don't know the amount, close to win. We're gonna quote this one in USD. The close date we're gonna set for the end of April. The region is of course APAC, the deal owner. We assign to Thomas. Application would be GFRP, CFRP in service, potentially. Position, competing, primary contact role, economic, technical, definitely technical. If we're not in the manuals, they're not interested. Switch. I would call that an expansion, actually. Core unit. They have one of those, TRM, one of those, standard license. Um, and there they are, Vietstar Airlines, Vietstar Airlines. That's done. And the line items I'm going to quote for them is the standard DC2, because it's the lowest price point for us to get into the client. If they accept it, we can always try and nudge them up for the next one. I'm also going to add the absolute workhorse, the 3.5 megahertz TRM with 8mm aquiline delay line. Maybe drop in some shipping just for, just for fun. But often the customers will arrange that for themselves. There we go. Shipping max 2, create, done. So this now has this deal on the deck. So we're actually looking at the deal now. This is the deal, okay. So, in summary, if I now go to companies, and I now go here to my Vietnamese companies, which are those we're tracking within our customer relationship management system, and now if I sort by total open deal value, you can see we have one deal on the deck for Vietnam. So now I'm gonna work out what's happening and why that isn't coming up. I have a funny feeling it's gonna be this inside the company record. We need a country and it's listed as Vietnam, two words. And I think rather than changing that, I'm gonna change my filter. Company name is Vietnam or Vietnam. There we have 65 records. And if I update that filter, we now have 67. So I added two more, of course, one of which being Vietstar Airlines, but I'm not sure why we're not seeing the opportunity there. So let's see, that's all done now. We're happy with that. Check on this guy. He's assigned to the right company. The deal is next to his name of prospecting. If we were to move that over to qualify, let's see if it then appears on our list, just to check. Sorting by total deal value, there you can see. I've got that one there. I'm not sure why that one would jump up ahead of that one, but there you go. So, just to summarize what we did, we did an industry-wide search for companies, which we then exported to a big old CSV like this. And then by combining all of these industries on the front end, we were able to then get our key list and we're just going through researching each one using the domain name right here. You can see the domain name there. And if you wanted to, 
you absolutely can if you feel like it. You could just say, all right, I just want to look at the public companies. So let's hide all the private companies. There you go, done. This is very, very powerful information here, right? You could say, all right, I just want to look at the companies that have a Facebook page. Ignore all those with blanks and I'm going to go through and add everyone's Facebook. There you go, there's your list. From there, we highlighted and prioritized the ones we wanted. We got four of those. And with that number 10 top one, we then jumped back into Zoom Info and spent some money on a search. We've also got the manager of supply for Vietstar Airlines. We don't have any contact details for him, but we do have the name. Aircraft maintenance engineer, Nat Wynn. Again, no contact details, but we do have that name. So it's probably worth having a look at again can we find these pilots and so on so there you go and then from there what we did is we create a contact record in hubspot which is what we do when you tell us which one you're actually aiming at on the back of creating the contact we then created the company record and then once the company was created we created a new deal with the basic line items in there of a dc2 not even a dc2 plus just the dc2 and the 3.5 trm plus shipping and from there we can then go into our company list and our Vietnam company list and sort by total open deal value. And sure enough, Vietstar Airlines is now right there at the top, straight after Patek. So over to you, I would say, get this list back to us, go through and turn all of these lines into a number. If Blue Ocean Shipping Corporation Vietnam is no good, Blue Cruiser Speedboat, Biz Hub Consulting. I mean, Biz Hub Consulting, again, it's one of those where you might think, oh, this is terrible. This is of absolutely no value. And yet you go down there, you have a coffee with them, and it turns out that all of their customers are airlines in Vietnam. Who knows? You just don't know. A lot of the websites are down, which is uh, pretty bad, but just on that one alone thinking mm, I wasn't sure it was a good one and their websites down what more do I need to know is there a Facebook link I could always look that up if I really wanted to but I'm digging now after a company that I'm pretty sure isn't gonna be relevant to us but let's have a look while I'm here I've got I've got the data so let's see well there you go a trusted healthcare marketing partner to connect you among patients healthcare experts and governments in vietnam so the chance to get into governments maybe but not the right industries i'm going to downgrade that straight away so we jump over here to our sort and this one it's another one for me it's no good What you might decide to do is to come across here to industry, which is here, primary industry. And you can see what they are here, they're all laid out. We might just, just search by these first, knowing that our number 10, if we look, our number 10 is right there, and actually nine and six are also right next to it. So the chances are a lot of these ones in the transportation sector may be relevant to us. So it might be a good place to start. Things like aviation solution services could well be onboard food and toilet replacement. Okay, so these guys deal with the trading of aircraft, spares, consumables, and hardware, management and quality consultancy and training services. Uh, we also work with partners such as Camro, MRO support aircraft. This is, and they literally put NDT at the top of their home page. There is no doubt that this is a top 10 target for us. Anyone that mentions NDT in the first paragraph of their website, I'm going to update that because I've actually done the test there and I know where that leads now. So we'd like to go and look at that one. And so again, we jump across Aviation Solution Services, another absolute 10 right there. So knowing that I've grabbed another 10, Let's go back into Zoom Info. So again, giving me this 10, and it's not enough just to say everyone's a 10, we know that, it's not true. We've got literally two contacts in here and that's it. And we've only got one phone number. There's no email whatsoever. So what I'll do is I'll go back to their, their website. And let's see if there's a generic 
contact name. There we go. There's a generic email. That's all we need. We do need an email though. Without an email, we won't be able to create a contact. So I come in here, and contacts, contacts, create a contact, and here we go. Now don't get me wrong, if it's possible to um, load in you know, multiple contacts into a spreadsheet and then import that, that would be wonderful. Go and create. And jumping back into here, I'm gonna create my company. Company domain. Let's see if the company's already been created. Yes, it has. There's the company. So I don't want to duplicate. The company's already been created. There we go. And I can take the name from here if I've got their name. All right, we have got a phone number for them. There they are. Uh, this number will be in Vietnam, of course. We do that to make sure that the number is properly formatted, which means we don't need the 84. Lovely, done, done, done. All right, that's that, that, and that. Good. I also find uh, we can change that image there. So I just hacked out so we can grab that. It's nice. And we've got our Philip fan there as well. So now we go ahead and we create a deal. So I'm going to add a new deal. It's the partner pipeline. I'm going to keep it on qualify for a minute because we're going to really push to sort that one out. The only difference is this will change the percentage of dollars appended to the current open, open deck, right? So bear that in mind. Save. That's done. Excellent. So again, I come back here. I reset my list. Close that off. I'm going to my Vietnamese companies list. See what that looks like. There we go. And hopefully, if I sort by the total deal, open deal value. Hmm. Interesting. It's not showing up. Not sure why that might be. Let me check my records again. So this is the company here. There we go. I'll check the country again in case you put it in as a double name, but that shouldn't be the problem. There's nothing in there at all. So that's the problem. It didn't know what country to put that in. So that's done. So I go into my deal, my add twan, it goes in there, maybe that one there, and I'm gonna add a company, and there they go. I'm also gonna to revert to the previous deal that I was looking at, Vietstar Airlines, their deal right here on the right. I jump into this deal, and I'm gonna add twan in here. Just so that we know if anyone's looking at this deal, they know that twan is involved, right? Via Star Airlines, I add to ten. Now the reason for this is that when I jump into the protect record right here, I then get to see all the contacts, but more importantly, all of the deals, including if I go to view associated deals, the deals of the different companies like Via Star Airlines and Aviation Solutions, those two right there. Now you can see quite clearly, this is what was happening to my report. So if I look at the open amount, it's the same, but because this deal is set to qualify, 20% of the value of that deal is going onto the deck. But because this one is in prospecting, 0% of that will go in. So I'm just gonna nudge that forward to qualify because we are in the process of qualifying it. And sure enough, if I now refresh my page, sort by total open deal value you can now see so the idea is that that would be you'd sit down and have a conversation and these are the big ones that turn up at the top so if you know of another one like here the Hanoi University of Science and Technology I'm sure that's a top lead let's just go ahead and build a deal for them
I'm going over the next steps of where you're going to end up after you give me what I need. But ultimately, I hope you've taken away today the importance of you as the local expert going through those lists and letting us know which ones you think are really interesting. Um, obviously, because we're not local there, we don't know. So we can we can do some, you saw the research I did today, pretty basic stuff. Science University and I grabbed that name because I failed to write it properly before. There's the deal, add a contact. And remember this time we're gonna add two contacts and try and firm that guy there, we're gonna add him too. So you can see I can add two contacts from different companies at the same time. And as I said before, I'm gonna add a new company, Patek, into this deal, and that'll go onto their pipeline as well. So I'm feeling good about this so far. Let me jump back into the deal. So I go to companies, I go to Vietnamese companies, and I search by total open deal value, and bang, there you go. Our pipeline is already starting to grow very nicely. The question is, can we get these deals moved from opportunity stage to customer? Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any problems. That was a 30 minute video, so thanks for sticking through that. I hope you found it useful.